So we did a really thorough warm up. If it's a shorter session, maybe you take five minutes, but if you're gonna train for several hours, you wanna have a little bit more extensive. So we're gonna move clockwise. We're gonna start just with skipping and elbows and knees are working in opposition. It's real loose here, loose and relaxed. You keep skipping in the same direction, but you turn 180. So now you're going backwards. And the mechanics are the same. Keep moving same direction. Now lateral shuffle. Hands and feet work together. Pivot. Same movement. Back to center, now karaoke, let's cross the left foot. So one forward, one back, one forward, one back. And the heart is facing the center, okay? So your, your shoulders are not moving, your hips are moving and your upper body is staying. Now right foot pivots, left foot crosses, one forward, one back. Now we're gonna open the hip flexor, so we'll do some walking lunges, hands fixed on the hips. The basic cue is hip forward, shoulder back. So here I have a lunge, but my center of mass is extended too far beyond the base. So I wanna push the hips forward, pull the shoulders back, open up that hip in the rear side, step up and alternate. So hips forward, shoulder back. We always control the movement, so pick the foot, and place it down under control. No falling. Keep moving same direction, backwards. Same mechanic, so lift, flex the knee and hip. Extend, find your base, hips forward, shoulder back. Now some squatting. We use a strong, forceful breath through the mouth. So it's Okay, and we'll start slow. quicker. A little bit faster. Fast. Okay. And now that the body's warm, we start to mobilize all the major joints. Okay. And we'll start just by rotating. And we take a joint by joint approach. So you focus on one area and then move up and down the chain. Gradually increasing the range of motion as you get warmer. Upper back and chest. Exhale, palm down, inhale, palm up. Diagonal, high and low. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Okay. and lift the chest, both arms up, inhale up, 
exhale. Let's move into the shoulders, big circle, roll. And forward roll. And backward alternating. And forward alternating. Now circle the arm. Elbow fully extended, the bicep brushes the ear. So this will be the same as when we have the kettlebell overhead. And we lead with the thumb. So thumb points up, thumb points down. Reverse direction. Again, thumb leads. And other side. Reverse direction. And both arms, again, try to bring the biceps to the ear the best you can. Reverse direction. And let's work into the neck. Hands behind the back, shoulders are back and down. Okay. Chin to chest, chin to ceiling. Start slow and deliberate. As you get warmer, you gradually increase the range of motion and gradually increase the speed, but always under control. The idea is motion is lotion. So through the movement, we improve the circulation of the synovial fluids, which cushion the joints. Okay, rotation, you lead with the cheek, eyes follow. And let's work lateral flexion. So extend straight up. You're gonna come up and over, fall to the left. Eyes stay looking forward and now push the right shoulder down. So push the opposite shoulder down to create space here. Extend the opposite arm about 45 degrees. Now start to rotate the palm up. And through the rotation, it's like wringing out a wet towel. So you'll start feeling that go deeper and deeper into the side of the neck. Roll out of it, other side, extend up and fall over to the right. Push the left shoulder down, keep it down, extend the left arm about 45 degrees and now start to rotate the left palm. And roll out of it, okay? Now we're gonna clap forward and back. And when you clap, it's not down low, it's up high. Okay? So you use a little bit of, little bit of strength to push those arms together. And now we'll start working into the lower body. Let's work with the hips about shoulder distance between the feet and push one way, push the other way. So the shoulders are basically still. You're not coming sideways with the shoulder. Shoulders are fixed. It's the hips pushing and pushing. Let's push side to side. Gradually increase the range of motion and speed as you get looser. And now push all the way, keep pushing here. Now while you push with the hips, start to bend the support knee. So bend, bend, we're going deeper into the lateral. Same thing other side, push, push here. Now slowly bend. Okay. <laughs> Now big circles, loosen the lower back and hips. That's the Instagram poll yeah. we did before. A lot of likes on that one. <laughs> Reverse direction. Okay, 
And uh, let's work in the hip joint. So we're gonna stand on one leg. You, the basic cue for balance is head over foot. So we want the head over the foot, that's balance. When the head is not vertically over the foot, that's a loss of balance. Loss of balance is loss of control. So head over foot, right leg, knee stays pointed up. You're gonna come up and over. Okay, and the shoulders stay forward, so you're circling in the hip. If you need to touch the toe down, you just touch the toe down for balance, that's fine. And reverse direction, same leg, knee stays pointed up. Same thing, other side, head over the right foot, left knee stays pointed up, up and over. And reverse direction. Dynamic hamstrings. So we'll put one foot forward. Let's have left foot forward. Body stays upright, so we're never leaning back. We're staying upright. The rear leg is straight. You're swinging the leg. Okay, it's not really a kick. It's more of a swing. And okay, start low, about waist level. Okay, and just lightly, gradually warm up the hamstring. Gradually a little higher, chest level. Face, head level. Now knee to chest. Same thing other side, body upright. Start waist level. Chest level. Head level. Knee to chest. Okay, shake. Always wait till we're very warm. And finally, we want to stretch the spine. Okay, so we want to stretch the spine in all four directions. So it's right, left, back forward. Feet are going to be close together. They don't have to be together, but close. And you're going to interlace the fingers. There's different variations of this, okay, but what we're going to do here is palms up, and then we want to squeeze the head with the bicep. So you don't want this. You want fully extended biceps next to the ear. Now you're going to extend upward, and you're gonna stay long and you're gonna to fall to the right. Now the eyes are forward and the chest is lifted, so you're not flexing towards the floor. You're staying upright until your upper body stops, okay? When your upper body stops, you stay there and you switch your weight to the right leg. So now your weight's on the right. Okay, now top hand pushes, bottom hand pulls as you exhale, stretching the left side. So it's And back to center, reposition. Squeeze the head with the biceps. You're gonna come up, fall over to the left, eyes forward, chest lifted. When your upper body stops, your weight shifts to the left leg. Okay, so there's no weight on the right. Now, top hand push, bottom hand pull. As you exhale, stretch the right side. back to center and release. Okay, so we stretch left and right. Now we're gonna stretch backward. First of all, the knees are fully extended. Okay, so not here, but lock the knees and extend the hips. Okay, so if you tighten the butt, the hips are gonna come forward. We don't wanna be here, we wanna be here. Okay, so that sets the lower body. So the glutes are tight, quads are tight, lower body is stable. Okay, palms together. Squeeze the palms together. Biceps come to the ear. Now your head drops back looking at the ceiling. If you're more flexible, you can look at the wall behind you. 
And then from here, the biceps pull back so that the biceps are in line with the ears. Okay, that's your starting position. Now from here, we want opposition. So as the upper body moves back, the lower body moves forward. That means you push your hips forward as you fall back with your arms, okay? So push, fall back. Push, push, look at the wall behind you. Push, 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 push. Now to come out of it, use your abdominal muscles to lift. And finally, we come forward, okay? Separate the arms, separate the feet. So we do right, left, back, now forward. Okay, from here, you push with the heel of the hand, you pull with the finger. So push, pull, you feel this all the way across, okay? Chest reaches forward, tailbone reaches back, so it's a long spine. So chest forward, butt back, chest forward, butt back, chest forward, butt back. The spine is flat. Once you break parallel, the shoulders and head round, okay? And then just rest your fingers on the ground and just walk it out a little bit in place, loosening up the hamstrings, glutes and lower back. Okay, plant the feet, let's drop the hips and just take the stress off the back. Okay, shift around a little bit. Now we're gonna go one more time a little deeper. Hands stay on the ground, tailbone up to the sky. Okay. Now you're gonna walk your hands back behind your feet. The elbows are braced along the inside of your knees. Now you're gonna flip the hands 180 so the fingers point to the wall behind you. Use your knee, use your elbow to push the knee. So your elbow pushes against the knee, the knee is locked. Keep the knees locked, chin to your chest. Now you're gonna get a good grip. If you can't reach the floor, then grab the back of your ankle. Okay, but get a good grip shift your weight to your toes and use your upper body to pull okay so pull pull your head down towards the ground so pull 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 shift your weight to the toes pull 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 okay walk your hands forward one more time squat down okay and then coming out of it you're going to raise the hands inhale reach up as long as you can and exhale Okay, so we did a really thorough warm up. If it's a shorter session, maybe you take five minutes, but if you're gonna train for several hours, you wanna have a little bit more extensive. <laughs>